If you thought an adult frill dragon was cool. Oh, look at a hatchling. my goodness. That is so cute. All right guys, so right now we're on location in Darwin, Australia, and we're trying to make a video for the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit. This is the Reptiles and Amphibians Edition, and our goal is to get a frilled dragon to sit on top of it and flare out its frill. There's a big one on the back side of this tree, and with any luck, I'm gonna be able to catch it and place it on top. We're gonna try to do this in a single take. Here we go. Got Mario over here scouting for me. Keep an eye peeled, let me know the height of the lizard. Now, the strategy here is all about sneaking up to the trunk of the tree. I'll look to Mario, he'll give me the signal as to how high it is, and then I jump, swing my arm around the side, and make the catch. Whoa, look at that. That is a big that boy. That is a big dragon. Look at the size of that lizard. One of the most iconic reptiles here in all of Australia. The frilled dragon. I see you, buddy. We've got our lizard, and now it's time to get the epic shot of this. Oh. Dragon up on top of the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit. Woo! How about that for a catch, huh? That is a good looking dragon. Okay, so let's crouch down for a second. I'm trying not to get whipped in the face by that tail or bitten. They have really, really, really sharp teeth. And uh, I was bitten the other day, it was not fun. What I'm gonna do, Mario, is actually pass the dragon off to you. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it properly wrangled on top of the box. And maybe that, see that little pocket right there? Sure. Right there. Let's come right up to that. Should you get the catch? Oh yeah. This is awesome. This lizard is the only kind that has a frill like this. This species is the only one that has a frill. They are incredibly prehistoric looking. And you can see that frill is a big defense, basically puffing up saying, okay, you don't want to mess with me. Anyway. All right, I think this spot right here is probably pretty good. Let's set the kit down. Let's see, so I'm gonna hand the lizard off to you. Be very, very careful, very careful. I do not wanna get bitten by this lizard. There we go, you got him? Yep. And you see on my hand there, I actually was already bitten the other day by one. Ready? Trust me, it's not fun. I wanna try to get blue sky if possible. I can lighten up the foreground, no problem. Oh, this will look sweet. If we can get him on top of right there, I can get those blue clouds in the background. Hold on, I gotta move this stick. Okay. Man, this is one of the most challenging parts, getting the lizard to actually balance. Oh, that's cool. I'm just gonna yeah, snap just, these. Just stand perfectly stand. Yeah, we cannot move. I'm in a, I got a great frame. Oh, good. Ready? Yeah. That's it, that's the shot right there. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest shot we could ever get for the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit. This is perfect. I'm gonna try one in portrait mode. Got it. And that is the Frilled Dragon. Good snag. All right. Wow. That's a big one. Good job, guys. Well, that's that's the shot. That's all we needed. A beautiful photograph of a frilled dragon on top of the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit Reptiles and Amphibians Edition. The last thing to do is let the lizard back up onto the same tree where we caught it and uh, maybe get a cool GoPro shot of it going away. What do you think? Sounds good. All right, let's walk back over to its tree. A great day out here in the park, picking up B-roll shots and finally catching one of these big dragons to get on top of the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit. Now for all the details on how you can get your subscription to the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit, just click on the link in the video description below. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. All right, ready? Yep. Let's try to get a cool shot of him going up the trees and let him kind of grip on. And you good? Yep. One, two, three. Oh. Huh. Sweet. Dude. Whip the camera and everything. That was awesome. All right. Yeah. This one's mine. Mario. This is mine. No. I want it. Give me that adventure kit. If you thought an adult frill dragon was cool. Oh, oh look at a my goodness. 
I didn't know you guys found a hatchling. They were hanging on in this tree right underneath our nose, as they say. That is so cute. You know what's better than a baby frilled dragon? What? Oh, two baby frilled dragons. Two baby frilled dragons. Check that out. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh man, right on my finger. twinsies. So Mario, why are we finding babies right now? It's hatching season. Yeah, so at this point, they're hanging out in these smaller trees and they like the uh, vegetation that's a little thinner. Since they're smaller, they hang out on the stems and the branches. Are these babies a threat from the adults? Like would an adult frill dragon eat the babies? An adult will eat one of these. However, look at that camouflage. We, we were actually standing underneath this tree for several minutes and basically i just saw a little bit of movement i was like oh what's that and i was a little friendly on our days off guys we are always constantly working and the fact that there are frilled dragons in this park gives us the perfect opportunity to get some of that really good cryptic b-roll that we're always after uh, and of course the opportunity to pick up a few extra photographs for the memory collection there you go look at that little guy so little if you thought this lizard catch looked like a challenge, make sure to go back and watch the time I scaled a tree to get hands-on with the lace monitor. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next location.